Thank you. You might not realize it, but when robots like self-driving cars are navigating through the streets, they are using mathematics. Maths of certainty, which is one, and uncertainty, which is zero, to determine whether to avoid obstacle. I leverage on this mathematical tool for solving real life problems. Models that deal with uncertainties. You don't know where you're going to meet and what you're going to meet on the road. I began studying this when I was at African Institute for Mathematical Sciences, otherwise known as AIMS, when my own career path was not so certain. I was married and I had two children. I was in a fixed. I asked myself, should I continue in academics or should I go into the industry? Or could I even do any of these two at all? Because I was pursuing my master's degree at that time. Then I needed to acquire a skill to pursue my PhD. Ames taught me how to use mathematical models to solve real life problems and gave me a platform that brought, me, brought my career life and my family life closer together. I cannot say that I lead a balanced life. However, I am not losing touch of being a career woman and at the same time being a mother. Balance here is like riding a bicycle. It is never static. As long as you keep moving, you are balancing, as long as you don't fall. Many young girls in science have been given the wrong certainty, telling them that science is for boys and not for girls, that you cannot even have a career path and a family life at the same time. But most of life on its own is between zero and one. Having my children never stopped me from pursuing my career. Rather, it's motivated me. My children actually became my source of inspiration. They became my source of perseverance. They became my source of patience and my source of resilience. In fact, my children became my first classroom. There is something we do at home during the holidays. My, my girls and I will sit down in the sitting room and solve Python programming language coding. We call this morning tea. Now, we sit down, we use our laptops, we brainstorm together, we use Udemy videos as tutors, and we discuss. We have always been growing together. And this at this point, I am bringing this approach to bridge the gap in Africa, to tell young women that they are welcome in science. The two pictures you see on the screen are examples of elimination of obstacles. Obstacles of gender, obstacles of culture, obstacles of mathematics, and obstacles of insecurity. The first picture on the left shows some, some girls in computer science department, University of Lagos, who never believed that they have the capacity to build a self-driving car from scratch. But guess what? They did it. The passion was there, just as simple as giving them my office space as a start. They formed a team, and now they are called the Code Angels. When they started working together and growing together, they realized it is not rocket science. It's only what? Robot science. <laughs> then the girls on my right-hand side are high school girls who never also believed that they can solve a local problem in their community using technology. Just as simple as giving my daughter, who is, by the way, one of the team members, the link to app development competition. At first, she was confused and at the same time, interested. Just a little push from my side, encouraging her that she can do it, but this time, not alone. She formed a team. And you know what? One thing, the highlight here is she formed a team. And they worked as a team. High school girls developed an app to solve illegal parking problems in Lagos, Nigeria. They won. 
They won the techno Evolution competition, the regional section in Nigeria, and hopefully they will be representing the country in California in August. They won. The story here is, when we are all growing together, even both boys and girls, we are changing the odds for women in science. It is not just probable, it is certain. Thank you. So thank you, Chica. And you've not only broken a lot of barriers yourself, yeah. but you've set up ways for many girls to continue to break those barriers. So thank you for, for the work you've done. Thank you. So I'm going to ask you the same question I've been asking uh, all of our, our personal storytellers. What will you do with your power, either while you're still here at Women Deliver or when you get back home? Well, I'm. I still believe in growing together. That's the message I'm spreading everywhere now. I, when I encourage the younger ones, and they see you as role model, mm. and you allow them, give them some space, you're growing together with them, and they are free, and they can talk to you, they can relate with you, and they don't see anything as obstacle anymore. Yeah. Because they are talking with someone that they think they can't talk to, because you're the role model, you're a lecturer, you're teaching them in school. So I still believe in encouraging them and not creating this barrier, like I'm, the, I'm a top out there, and I can't talk with the younger ones. So growing together is the key for me because that's what has been working for me. Thank you. Fantastic. Growing together. Great message. Thank you. Thank you.